Hello everyone, how are you? Great, nice to see you. Thank you so much for having me here tonight. We went to the bungalow where we were supposed to leave, so we were packing. We, uh, we had a car waiting for us, in, like, or coming for us in two hours time. And we started to pack. And um, I suddenly, I was I saw with the corner of my eye, there was a balcony and a, um, and a pool behind it. And I saw people, sound, at first I've heard screams. So I look up and I've seen people just running frantically everywhere, jumping into the pool and running. I was like, what's happening? And I thought it was maybe an earthquake. Um, and then I've seen um, a wave coming and it broke the glass, the water came in and, um, and then everything started to just collapse, the whole bungalow. And um, then I've heard just Simon saying, Petra, Petra, what's happening? Then it pulled us out the, of the bungalow and we were under the water and it released us again. So, and I've heard Simon again saying, Petra, Petra, what's happening? And I've seen the, ro the roof, so I told him, catch the roof. And I don't know if he catched it. I didn't see him afterwards at all. It was the last time I've seen him. But what happened, I was able to catch the, catch the roof. Um, I don't know if it was good or bad, because I, my legs got stuck there. And um, the debris was pressing on my pelvis with the, the broken, um, broken uh, trees with the uh, different trash and just heavy things. They were they were pressing on my pelvis and breaking it and breaking it. And I thought I was going to be squashed into nothing. It was an unbearable pain. But suddenly, the pressure of the water released itself. And I was like, okay, that's my chance. So I tried to use my hands and climb onto the, on top of the roof. And another wave came. So a big one. And I was again under the water. And this time I tried to kick and kick. After a while, I couldn't get um, out because I was stuck under the debris of trash. And I started to swallow the black water. And I thought, okay. If it's meant to be, I'm gonna go. Um, and I just relaxed and I stopped fighting. And actually, believe it or not, that was the most beautiful moment, the most blissful moment in my life. And looking hindsight, I realized that sometimes we try to go against the wall and we try to fight it. And when you trust, when you trust the universe, sometimes it's much better. And so I just, after relaxing and not fighting it and just trusting what whatever is supposed to happen will happen, suddenly I've been released and I have seen the blue sky again. I never seen this blue. I never been so happy to see a blue sky. Sky. Um, and what I had to do now was to be able to catch a tree. And if I wouldn't catch the tree, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. Um, and I was able to, I did, and, and I was holding to it for eight hours. Or maybe the tree was holding on to me. It was long, eight, long eight, eight hours, and I was thinking about Simon, my family, my loved ones, people I have met uh, on the trip and in my life. And actually, I was sending a lot of energy to all of them, to and sending prayers to them. And that kept me very calm and focused. It was very interesting. I thought I would be very, um, you know, kind of nervous, but I was very calm. And what I have realized that when there are difficult moments, not just with a tragedy, but in everyday life, we go through stressful situations. But if we are able to remain calm, we make less mistakes. And sometimes if we are not calm, it can cost us a life. 